up guys, this episode we're continuing on the Twilio journey where we're sending SMS messages to our users, but we're going to start receiving those SMS messages in our application as well. This will work very similar to receiving inbound emails. We'll get a webhook with the contents of the message, and then we'll be able to go look up a user and then save that message or do whatever processing we need to with that. So the first thing that you will need to do is go into your Twilio account. Then you're gonna need to go to the phone number section here and set up a webhook URL for your phone number. So this is the phone number I've set up currently and I've gone ahead and changed the webhook URL to point to a local tunnel um, address. This is going to be my local machine because I'm using the local tunnel app. You could use Ngrok or whatever else to expose your local Rails app to the internet. Then you're going to want to set up a URL to post to. So I typically namespace these into webhooks and then I have Stripe, Braintree, Twilio, Zapier, whatever it might be. I put those all under a webhooks namespace and then I can route accordingly. So we just need to create a URL in our Rails app to respond to webhooks slash Twilio and handle any incoming text messages. So before we get started too far, let's go ahead and go into our development.rb file in our environment. 